Question 5. Now, listen to a conversation between two students. Hey, Ryan. What's new? Hi, Jenny. Nothing much. Everything okay? You seem kind of down. I got this notice today. I'm on academic probation. Probation? Why? Your grades have been great. Most of them are, but I failed geology. Why? Well, first I signed up for too many classes, 18 credit hours. Then I got sick and fell behind in my economics class. That's my major. I had to write this big term paper. I also had to write another paper for my literature class, so I was concentrating on those. I just didn't have time to study geology. Why didn't you drop it and take it again later? I was going to, but like I said, I was sick for a while and I missed the deadline to drop classes. Man, I've never flunked a class in my life. It'll be okay. Here's what you can do. You have two weeks to appeal to the college director. You can write him a letter and explain your circumstances. I'm sure when he hears what happened and looks at all your good grades, he'll take you off probation. I could try, I guess, but I don't know. I don't really have a good excuse. It is my fault. And I was only taking geology to fulfill a stupid science credit. Your second choice is just to take the class again. You have one year. If you pass it, the new grade will replace the F on your transcripts. Well, I could try that, but、um, the thing is, I don't know if I can pass it. It was hard. Sure, you can. You're smart, and I'll help you. Next semester, just don't take so many hours so you have more time to study. But, Ryan, you've got to do something, unless you want that F on your permanent record. The students discuss two possible solutions to the man's problem. Describe the problem. Then state which of the two solutions you prefer and explain why.